Hey everyone, it is Glum3. Welcome to episode 23 of The Legend of Zelda Scout Sword 100% walkthrough. <gasps> okay. Um, in the last part, I asked you guys, what should I do? Head to Lineru or do some side quests? And you guys are really indecisive. Um, you should work on that. So, it was kind of split half and half, so I think for now I'm just going to head to Lineru. Just to keep things um, not taking too long. That didn't make sense. But, you know what I mean. I will go back and do side quests, though, later. So something interesting, well it's not interesting, but it's interesting to me, so I'm going to say it. Um, I got component cables for my Wii so that the quality would look better. It actually looks so much better, I was really like, amazed that everything was slightly better quality. Um, I had a lot of fun with it, and I went back and played every game I've ever played on the Wii. Um, and so, now I have my component cables, hopefully the videos will be slightly better quality. And yeah. And let's skydive. Here we go. Into my favorite of the three areas. Uh, it's not really spoilers. Um, this is the starting point, which is really cool looking already. Or a port master. Oh, it says skip, by the way, because um, I like, started recording this. It says that a lot, because I start recording things, and then my recording messes up. So I'm like, okay, whatever, do it again. And now it says skip, so oh well. And this is Lineru Mine. This arid region was transformed into a desert over the course of several hundred years. And fill in the map. Lineru Mine. Uh, zoom into Link's skin cells, yeah. All that good stuff. Oh, so yeah, so actually, um, as I was just saying, I'm still kind of trying to figure out my uh, recording stuff to make this the best quality. So I kind of just went and recorded for a little bit and then realized, oh, this is all not recording properly. So that's why... Oh my god, Dowsing! Shut up. So that is why um, it says skip. Anyway, let's bomb a bunch of stuff for no reason. Because that's how we roll. Oh, a Skyward Strike. Uh, Goddess Cube. Let's go hit that. Swing, swing, swing. A whirly beam. Ding. But yeah, as I was saying, um, this is like a really cool looking area. Um, when I first played this area, I was like, this sucks. I hate it. But I actually grew to like it a lot more. Especially as the game progresses, it has a lot of great stuff. It has The dungeon has such a great atmosphere. Um, and music. And look at this guy. Ah, oh, Zelda, get out of here. Where are you? Okay. So besides Zelda hogging up our first person mode. Look at this guy. How odd. We'll learn more about him later, but still these giant statues are just so cool and we can't see them from down here. But you know, they're cool. Um and as we uh, the thing said, we're in Lunero Mines. So we're not in like the desert yet. And get some rid of some bats. Um I know that they're called keys or keys, but I like saying bats, so I'm going to continue to do such do as such. Whatever, who needs grammar? IR don't. Uh, and here are some of the mining stuff. I guess they were just like transporting dirt. Why would you even need to transport this? It's just, just dirt. But oh well. <laughs> I like the way that that falls for some reason. Oh no, electric shoes. Ah, uh, what you doing? Oh, another one. Shoes so crazy. And blue rupees for everyone. Well, except for you. Only for me, actually. Never mind. Blue rupees for me. And let's push this or pull it. Whatever. How does Link even pull this? He's just like reaching his hands into metal. Earth bending. Or metal bending. Well, you know, you can metal bend. Toph can metal bend. But I guess not everyone is as cool as Toph, so oh well. Um, as you can see, these- Ah! Fire! I mean, uh, not fire. I'm so used to saying fire chews, but these are electric chews. Um, and here's the minecart. Let's just move this a little bit. You'll see why in a moment. Some metal bending. And that's good enough. So, now we enter this cool room here, and we can see the Sheikah symbol on that there stone. The only other place we've seen that is on Sheikah. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that suck? Like, that's just such unoriginal, like, name to give to your child. Like, that would be if my name was, like, Human. 
Hey human, what's up? Like, why would you name your daughter Shika just because she's a Shika? Um, anyway, so as we do with all things that we don't know anything about, let's hit it with our sword. That would suck if we just like destroyed it and got a little um, knuckles emerald beeper on the bottom. But no, it just makes it glow. And oh, here's some robots. So it's kind of funny because this is the earliest game in the Zelda timeline, yet it's the most futuristic. But that's pretty cool, ancient technology and whatnot. And I just love these time things. I mean, Fi's about to pop up and be like, Hey, you know, you went back in time? Wow, how neat. But, um, that is a minecart for transporting. Time shifts don't zerped. They're not for human use, so get lost, verm. I am able to confirm that a time shift has occurred within this space. Oh, <gasps> is that why it's called a time shift stone? Any impact to the blue stones creates a sustain that they were purple, Fi. You just cannot tell colors. But yeah, we're in the past now. Something that's always confused me about this is, are we in the past or is the past in the future? Because like, obviously everything outside is still the future. So are we literally in the past or is the past just in the future? I don't... It's, it's crazy. Um, let's talk to this guy. Doing some mining. Do not interfere with mining operations. Stop talking to me. Zerped. Uh, do not interfere with mining operations. Stop talking to me. Zerped. Okay, so he's not going to say anything else. Oh well. So yeah, these guys are doing a whole mining thing. The minecart in front of the door is going to pass through here, so it's dangerous for you to be there. Verm. Maybe you should just go away. Zerped. These guys are kind of jerks. Like, all of them are just mean. Like, okay, when this guy says something nice, I'll be legitimately surprised. Where did you come from? This is we're collecting time shift stones and transporting them to Lineru mining facility. Stay away from the blue stones. Zerped. They're far too dangerous for humans. That wasn't really mean, I guess. Um, the interesting thing is that these guys know what humans are. Which, uh, I guess maybe because, you know, Sheikah's a human, so maybe they, uh, or I mean the, not Sheikah, the, um, old lady in the temple. Um, obviously, well, I mean, maybe she's not that old. We don't know how far in the past that this is. It could be a hundred years, it could be, actually, this is probably more than a hundred years, because it says, uh, Fai says that it took hundreds of years for this to become a desert, and this, um, is supposed to, okay whatever basically Fi said it took hundreds of years for this to become a desert and the time shift stones will do some things that make it seem as though it's longer ago than that anyway um oh uh, why am i just messing around here sorry i was just going off on a tangent anyway back to over here where the minecart was we can finally ride it now do some spinning oh yeah just having a party in here Having a good time spinning around. Anyway, get out. Um, here, you need to collect these. Well, you only need to you need one, but just make sure to pick one of these up. They're ancient flowers. Uh you really just need to pick one of them up at least. So do that. You will thank me. Um Here are some Oh, dead robots. Dot dot dot. My estimates indicate that this object has been broken for many years. You don't say. I'm unable to analyze the content of its speech at this time. I mean, all it says is dot dot dot, so... Unless that's like Morse code, yeah, I don't think you can interpret that. Um, anyway. Take one of these bombs, throw it into this basket. I don't know why they made little things just to have baskets that you throw bombs into. The robot things, I mean, I don't know. They're kind of crazy guys. Oh, does that need... Do I need to do that twice? What? What? Why did the... Okay. That was weird. Like, do I need to look at it? Do I need to gaze into its eyes? Ah! Electric shoes? Another note is because of all the... Ooh, jelly blob! You got a jelly blob. It may look like a boring wad of gunk, like your family and friends, but it's used to make all sorts of things. I don't know why I added that, but, you know. Sometimes text blocks can be rude. Um, another note that I was about to say is electric enemies will not harm your wooden shield, but they will have a bad effect on your metal shield, so be careful with that. Anyway, moving forward, let's bomb a couple of these baskets. Um, we're actually almost 10 minutes in, so soon I'm going to be ending off this part. Let's throw this in here. Uh, 
Uh, there's a green rupee, my favorite of all the rupees, besides um, blue and red and silver. Alrighty. And here we have some bowls for no reason, just just for decor, just for decor. Oh, ants though. I will get you. You caught two Lanayru ants. It said these ants store water deep in their nests, allowing them to thrive even in the intense heat of the open desert. Cool. Um, and let's get this treasure chest. Red ruby. Oh joy. Okay. Well, let's head back out. And... The, no, I don't want a net. Crazy game. I want a bomb. I want a bomb. Dun, 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 dun. No, no, I've picked that up from Daft Mac now. Get out of here. Oh my god, they just dropped all their toenails into the sand! No! Why? The one time that they drop all of their toenails into the sand. Wow, I sound like a lunatic. But don't we all? When we're talking about toenails of bats. Um, anyway, on a similar note, in the next part of this walkthrough, we'll do more crazy shenanigans. Head over this direction, ignore these annoying guys who are electric now. And we'll go through this area, and we'll get to the main area of Lanaru Desert. I hope you enjoyed this part. Um, common question of the video is, what is your favorite Zelda gimmick? There's lots of them. There's masks, there's going forward in time, back in time, um, shrinking, all that fun stuff. So, your favorite Zelda gimmick goes in the comments, please, if you want to. Um, and if you want to as well, you can follow me on Twitter, you can chat in the Zat chat room, or you can vote on the next walkthrough. And if you are a really cool cat, you can subscribe, which I would very much enjoy. And Link would do a backflip. Let's watch. Ready? Ready? Oh, subscriber backflip. So if you haven't done that, please do if you want to. And I will see you guys next time.